riders, how you doing? It's a ride home review. Yesterday we had some technical issues, therefore I'm not posting until today. Um, so you'll get it in the bright, in the sunlight. What about that? But anyway, moving on to what I reviewed this week. This week we, I watched Marshall. Marshall uh, stars uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman, Josh Gad, Kate Hudson, directed by Reginald Hudlin. The story revolves uh, around a young um, Thurgood Marshall. Jeez, who's the title character? Thurgood Marshall, um, as he is the lawyer for the NAACP. Um, uh, it takes place in 1941, and he takes a case in Connecticut, Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, about a white woman that accused a black man of rape. And he's teamed up or partnered with Josh Gad's character of Sam Friedman, um, who tries to get uh, Marshall instated into the uh, Connecticut, but as, as to, to practice law in Connecticut, but is ultimately denied by the judge. What I like about this movie, um, I thought, as with most movies in period times nowadays, they just do a wonderful job at, at setting, the, setting the tone, setting the feel. It felt like a movie that was made in the 40s um, with a lot of the shot composition, um, music, musical stylings, lighting, uh, uh, care, art direction, costuming. It was really good. Um, the courtroom scenes were intense. Uh, the story was good. It was one of uh, Thurgood Marshall's landmark cases. Um, although I would have cho I would have liked to see the Brown versus Board of Education one, but I understand the choice of this during this day and time. And I liked parts of the story since it took place in 1941 that showed Sam's struggle at being Jewish in America as well as Thurgood Marshall's struggle of being black in America at that time. So they did a good, really good job at that. Um, things I didn't care for, uh, I thought Sam being an insurance lawyer took to the trial way too quickly. Um, uh, I would have liked to see him stumble about a little bit more. And I felt that the the scene um, in the club with Thurgood Marshall and Langston Hughes and uh, Zora Neale Hurst, I thought that was a little forced, um, almost like a name dropping thing to, you don't, you don't really have to put it out there that this is this day and time. Um, yeah, it was just, just some things that weren't necessary. Uh, and, but all in all, it was a good story. Um, the director did a good job in the pacing of the film and it wasn't, wasn't long. It cleared up when it needed to. It was just well done in that, that regard. What to watch for is the chemistry, the chemistry between Josh Gad and Chadwick Boseman on screen as they develop their characters. Unbelievable. They worked so well together and they just, you could honestly tell a friendship was forming and they just did a good job. So all in all, I thought it was a pretty good movie. Um, not really, I don't know, uh, super award winning, but good performances all around and a well done film. But what do you think? I'm home now. So I'd like you to uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, like me on Facebook, also subscribe to me on YouTube if you to see more reviews, and we'll see you next week, and next week's movie will be The Snowman starring Michael Fassbender. All right, looking forward to next week. Until then, watch something cool, and I'll see you next time.